We are the team of Drone Ball of Death. We will be dipping, diving, slipping, sliding, vintage motorcycle trick and stunt riding on the oldest original ball still traveling in the world today, built in America in the 20s. We are still using original 1920s Indian motorcycles. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are not here to scare and frighten you. We are here to thrill and entertain you. We are the Demon Drone Ball of Death. <laughs> My name is David Seymour. And I'm Julia Seymour. We're in the Demon Drone Wall of Death. Uh, it was built in the States in 1927, shipped over to England in the late 20s, 29, and then was uh, used in England for about 30 years, and then became a static wall in Wales for a bit, and then moved to Skegness, and then a guy called Alan Ford bought it and started traveling it again. He had it for probably 20 years, and then uh, we managed to buy it in uh, 2003. We went and saw Alan's wall, this wall, and Duke was probably five, yeah. and Haley was three, and we were just punters up the top watching, and it was just like, you would never think that we would end up with this. Well, we were living a normal life. I was a builder and Julia was a housewife. Uh, we had two kids. We were in the hot rods and into our old bikes as well. And uh, I fancy an Indian. So I put the word out. And then about six months later, a friend of ours, Dave Red, he, uh, he phoned us up and said, there's two Indians for sale, but they come with a wall of death. <laughs> so I sort of said straight away, yep, let's go for it. He and then I, then I asked Julia. <laughs> he didn't ask me to start with. <laughs> David likes mad ideas, so you just go with it. Just go with it. I ended up, within a month, I'd managed to get on the wall, and then I came down badly and broke my leg. Everybody, everybody's going, well, that's it then, isn't it? That's the end of it. I said, no, I haven't even started yet. Yeah, so I think we spent three years First learning to ride it and then restoring it. If I give a list when I'm saying, right, I'm coming to a show, so I go David and Julia, Duke and Holly is why, Alabama, then there's Harry that is our extra rider, Pratt LaPete, so Pete is our guy on the mic. Then we've got Gran, we've got the Nickleys, so yes, so then we've got Honey, Storm and Little Koa. And then we then Add on from that, really, isn't it? Duke was 14, wasn't he, I think? When we had, and he, he was coming he, home from school and going, I want to go up, I want to go up. So you, we, he was on the go-kart. He was actually the first person to go up mm. on, on it in the, in the go-kart, because I had a little go-kart that came with it. But I was only interested in the bike. So we've got two daughters, which a lot of people don't realise that Hayley is, is two years younger than Duke. So she has had a go. It's Alabama that's with us now, that she was four at the time. So. Yeah, so she was sort of like just running around the track and messing about. And then suddenly, just out of the blue, she said, right, I want to go. I used to do the straight riding, which is the start of the show, just doing that to start with. And then um, worked my way up, then started riding the Indian motorcycles. And Dad had a bad accident in Germany and I had to step in, did all the tricks then, and it just went from there, really. Back in the day, they chose the Indians. The tanks are the same height as the seat, so they're, quite, they're a lot easier to move about, so we can move on to the tank. With the leaf spring front end, we can put a foot on the leaf spring, the low center of gravity. But nowadays, it's mainly tr tradition. They're awesome, aren't they? They're pretty cool, aren't they? So <laughs> this one's 1923. And uh, the new Indian is obviously 2023, so it's 100 years apart, so that was pretty special, yeah. I'm the only person that can ride sitting completely backwards, but also do the crucifix, top side, no hands, pretty much, yeah, anything <laughs> that you can do on a wall of death, yeah. You can get 300 people in there and they're all cheering you on, oh yeah, you just get, oh, you get really pumped up and then, You've got to think, oh, I've got to keep it down a bit, otherwise <laughs> get too excited, yeah. As I'm riding around the wall, the G-force and the feeling and everything else, there's nothing in the world that really compares to that. The feeling when I'm going around the wall of death, a lot of people ask if I'm scared, but because I've done it since I was 12, it's not really scary for me anymore. I find it actually more scary watching my brother and my dad 
I actually tried when I was 10, but I only went on the track and I didn't really enjoy it. I don't really know what changed, but when I was 12, I decided that I wanted to do it. And from then on, I've been performing as the girl on the handlebars. So this is my 12th year, so half my life, I've been the girl on the handlebars. I love performing. Uh, I'm a professional dancer, so that's what I do. Uh, and then this is an extra bit on the side, which is fun and it's a great conversation starter. <laughs> You can see how like captivated everyone is and I, I love that being able to like be a part of someone's memory. It's, it's difficult to put into words how it makes you feel but you come off it and I'm still I shake every single time because it's just next level. I absolutely love it. You've got to have a lot of respect for the wall. You can't you can't just go up there thinking you know it all and you can ride it. Like loads of people come up and say, Oh I can do it, I can do it then I know firsthand it's taken me five, six years to get to where I am now. And I like to think I make it look easy, but I'm still struggling <laughs> all the time. There's so much, you have to concentrate so much. You can't just think you can do it. You have to be concentrating all the time, otherwise it will just bite you. Great people, it's a great environment. Everyone loves it. Yeah, hopefully I'll be doing it for many more years. For me, the highlight is just yeah being with our family, enjoying it with them. And like you said, we go to all these amazing places, travelling, and we get to do this for a job. Yeah, one day I'd love to take it on and maybe pass it down to my children. So it'd be great if they could take it on and progress, yeah. No, he can take it over whenever he wants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Duke and I, we, we spend even in the winter, we're, we're, we're building cars, you know, building bikes together. You know, we spend a lot of time together. He is my best mate. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Travelling with your family is really good fun. It has its moments, <laughs> definitely. But uh, I think that and also meeting everybody. You know, we've been all over Europe. We just embrace everybody and it's brilliant. I also, we're also keeping something of history. So it's something that should never be lost. And the amount of people that come up and have never seen a wall of death of any, of different ages. So you've got the four and five year olds that come down going, wow. And then you've got the 40 year olds or the 20 year olds, different elements of people that this should never be lost ever. And so we're just looking after it at this, this little moment in time our family is just keeping an eye on the demon drone. You have to know the different milks everybody has. So you have sugar? <laughs> <laughs>